just to keep you on your toes. If we looked at a, a wheel and we put four points on it and we said this is the start and um, this down here is desire, this is thought, and this is action. This morning you had a starting point, you woke up, is that right? You are awake, aren't you? <laughs> and you had a desire, that desire might have been to go to the loo, might have been for a cup of coffee, a round of toast, read the paper, but you had a desire. So probably you thought about it briefly and then you put it into action, didn't you? You acted on it to satisfy the desire. Do you know what 99% of the population do then? You don't? Okay. Because I could wait a week for you to answer me, but that would be just wasting time. Um, they actually go straight back into the next desire, oh I need a fag, and um, very often crucify themselves between desires and actions without thinking about what they're actually doing. Yes? And very few people actually go back to the start in order to reflect. Because if we go to back to the start and say, is what I'm doing effective? Is it taking me where I want to go? Am I benefiting from it? We can then change, can't we? We become masters of our lives instead of victims of desires and actions. And because the majority of people that I have to deal with, and that's a lot of people, are just crucifying themselves every day between desires and actions. 